Hi everybody, this is Tim Cannon. I wanted to address a few of the concerns that we heard about the Circadia 1.0 video and the Circadia 2, the update. Mostly, the biggest question that we got was, why is this thing so large? Well, the reason that it was so large was because we weren't actually attempting to make something small. What we did was we started with a few questions. Can we make something that can go into the body? that can be powered, that can be wirelessly recharged, that can communicate uh, biological data, and that we can send commands into. And can you do this on a hacker budget? This is exactly what we set out to prove. We didn't care if it was small or large, we just wanted to see that. And then we knew that we could watch any of the millions of YouTube videos that are out there that can tell us how to get all those things smaller, lower powered, and of course you know, continuing to work on it and continuing to learn will make our process more efficient. Also, we wanted to get good experience at writing testing protocols and performing tests, and that was one of the main focuses of the early development effort. So, that is kind of what the point was as well. In terms of why we did this, we were basically attempting to create a technology using open source tools on a hacker budget because we believe that once things are made accessible, that's when real innovation happens. We don't want to see a situation where people do have data streams, but they have to plug it into some proprietary software, and there are concerns about who owns the data, and these sorts of things. We wanted something that was completely hackable, that you could write your own software to it if you wanted, and uh, use open source tools, and those sorts of things. So that was the point of what we did, and I think that we accomplished that point extremely well. A uh, couple other questions that we heard, uh, are you crazy? I don't think I'm crazy. Um, we were very thorough. We did our research. We had people with college educations that did, did exactly what they went to college for. Uh, biologists, clinical researchers, that sort of thing. Uh, as well as electrical engineers, um, software designers, those sorts of things. So we had a round group of people. Uh, was that? Oh, did it hurt? Yes. It hurt a lot. It was extremely painful. I wouldn't recommend it at this size to anyone. Uh, you know, I'm actually uncomfortable with the size as well, which is something that I found out. I was curious about something. I went and pursued it, and I found out. And now these are lessons learned, and we can take that and use it. Um... I can't think of any other real obvious questions that people had, but if you have constructive criticism or want to lend a hand with the project, uh, things like that, please drop us a line. I'm going to show you some pictures of my arm. I just wanted to say thank you for all of the support that we've received out there from anybody. Um, and also, if you have questions or comments, hit us up on our website, grindhousewetware.com, or you can hit us through Facebook.